decided to get a low rider. <laughs> and you watch the fuel gauge drop as it goes up. Try to get a low rider as it sinks. I'll say, if you're gonna go big, go big. I'll be standing on the back. <laughs> All the way up. Absolutely. Here, jump in there. Yeah, it's not that high. Yeah, just hit both of them at the same time. <laughs> Alright, three, two, one, go. Okay, I decided to get a low rider. Uh, oops, you gotta start all over. <laughs> <laughs> got, the key's gotta be on. <laughs> just turn it on to the on button. Alright, three, two, one, go. Okay, I decided to get a low rider. All right, so the inside switch, the inside handle, it's a 48. You should know this. You're old, man. Are you Come kidding? On, look. I wasn't even alive then. All right. <laughs> I'm not that old. <laughs> I'm not that old. Jesus. I was minus five years old. Minus five. <laughs> Two, one, go. If you're going to go big, go big. How she does. Alright, three, two, one, go. This is a 1948 Kenworth, which has been slightly modified. Alright, we gotta get the, the head ornament. Yeah. Three, two, one, go. And by slightly modified, I mean insanely modified. Basically, only the cab is original. <laughs> one, go. Now, it does have $27,000 worth of custom made wheels. All right. Okay, let's open this up. We'll show the engine. And the engine came out of a 91 Dodge. It's a six-cylinder Cummings turbo diesel. Now, you might think it's just for show, but it's actually a work truck. Put a gooseneck trailer on it. You can pull racing cars with it. The giant trailer. It was cool how much we said it cost in total. So, if you've got a hundred grand to throw out and a nice low rider, you can get something just like this. Wow, that's how long did it take you? Hey, make sure you shout out Renegade Racing on YouTube. <laughs> um, it was 10 months to build it. That's not bad. 10 months to build it. I think I spent 10 years doing something like that, you know? Yeah, we, we don't have time for that. Yeah, you don't fart around. Most people spend their lives farting around. Well, you should come to uh, to the shop sometime. We'll bring some more cars, too. Oh, yeah, um, that's cool. All right, close the hood, and I'll get my camera and right. put it back up in the air again. Cool down. Okay, I decided to get a low rider. All right, what's the trick? <laughs> Hold on, I don't want to break it. All right, go this way. Oh, okay, got it really clunky. I don't want to break your truck. <laughs> if you're going to go all out, you might as well as go big. But, uh, it's, it's registered as a one-ton dually. Check it out. Look at those spokes. It's unbelievable. As you close the door, one solid old truck. And it is a 48, so no seatbelts in this baby. Let me out! Let me out! So what do you think of that? Oh, it's phenomenal. I mean, it's a real truck. It's not a toy. <laughs> if you really love this truck, the owner says everything's for sale. Absolutely. Did you see his Hummer? Yeah. Okay, it's an H2, and it's the only. It's they only made 500 of that edition. It's built on the small Chevy truck chassis. He can hook up his bass, he's a professional bass 
fishermen. They give them free boats every year, hundred thousand dollar boats. He can come up his trailer that, and right there, he can go in circles because it's such a short bed. There, there he is. <laughs> I didn't think. Yeah, I got it. Tell us, tell him what they offer. It's got three hundred something thousand dollars. Tell him what you got off of. Sixty thousand. Actually, yeah. That many miles. Yeah. You never know. There might be it. some lunatic in Saudi Arabia yeah. who just has to have this thing. And I would sell it. Everything's for sale. You know, it would come with the trailer, though. You got to say that because the trailer was custom built for this. Yeah. So I can't use the trailer on yeah. anything else. Okay, okay, okay. I'm talking now. I'm all... But of course, sadly, I did not own this truck. But the man who owns this truck says everything is for sale. It would come with a custom made trailer they made just for that. It wouldn't fit anything else. And perhaps you just have to have this thing. You can always contact him. <laughs> you never know. <laughs> he loves this truck, but he also loves money. So who knows what will become of this truck? Something like this is a one off. Oh, yeah. That's a one off. You have no idea what something that would fetch on the open market. None. Because if they came and drove it, they'd say, there's nothing wrong with this damn thing. Wow, you know, yeah. I mean, it runs like a clock. It's got an engine that you can work on easy, not the old one. Because unlike cars, these aren't worth more money if they got the original engines, because the original mm. engines are crazy. Oh, shit. Yeah. They don't put on any horsepower. Mm. Nobody wants them. But something like this, hey. Plus, the fact that you don't have to have a commercial driver's license, yeah, yeah. that really changes the thing. Yeah. Here in Tennessee now, you wouldn't be able to register in Texas that way. A guy, new guy's trying yeah. to do it in Texas, they won't let you. Well, it doesn't have air brakes, so, it, you know, it, and it's 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 a, basically a one-ton now, you know, <laughs> so, you know, and then I couldn't, the title, there was no title, and it only has five digits on the original. Band. Yeah. So it had to be retitled, and it was retitled as a 48 Kenworth, but a one-ton dually, so it's, passenger, it's, it's titled as a passenger vehicle. This is the only one ton that can tow 20,000 pounds. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> hey, what's going on, guys? Hey, we're here with the famous Scotty, man. Everybody knows this guy, Scotty Kilmore, on YouTube. Um, did you expect this success and, and, you know, coming up through YouTube? I know you've been on YouTube for years since it first started. Did you expect this kind of success with 5 million? You know, five million plus subscribers and views every day. I mean, it, it's amazing, man. Well, actually, I did. I just didn't think it would take this long, you know? I'm 69 years old. I expected it to happen a little faster. <laughs> Anybody that wants to build a YouTube channel, wants to follow this road that you're on right now, what's the biggest advice that you could give somebody to keep moving in that direction and be successful? All right, do something that you enjoy and that you're good at. It has to be both, because you might enjoy ice skating, but I doubt if you're gonna be a professional ice skater unless you're really good at it. So find what you can do and put your heart into it 100%. And don't listen to the naysayers. Okay, when I started on YouTube in 2007, a friend of mine, Harvey, he worked for CBS. He said, oh, Scott, are you going on YouTube? You'll never make a dime. Everybody's trying to do this. Okay, well, 2022 from 2007, I'm getting in my two billionth view. So I'd say, Harvey, pfft, you didn't know what you were talking about. What are some of the coolest cars that you've ever filmed that, that you rate as cool on your YouTube channel? All right. Well, here's one of them. <laughs> so as far as filming and stuff of that nature, have you had to spend a lot of money on equipment and in order to get yourself started into doing this? No, I'm a cheapskate. I started out with a $60 camera. Now I'm using Panasonic's that are only 800 bucks. You got something that shoots 4K, it doesn't really matter, as long as it has a decent lens. It's the lens that does it. Now you can do like a, guy, a lot of guys use your phone, but those lenses are tiny. And unless you're in full sunset, unless you're in full sun, it's not gonna look that good. You better get a 4K camera, but you don't need to buy billions of dollars of equipment. So essentially what you're saying is being a YouTuber is find some, a niche that you can jump into, get yourself a decent camera, and you can jump right into it and get going. That's right. And one of the most important things is figure out what your target audience is. My target audience is 90-something percent men between like 
15 and 55 you want to find your target audience see what they want and then give them stuff that they want to know things that they're interested in don't think you're going to be all things for all people find your niche find what kind of an audience there is and let's say you find out there isn't an audience for that particular niche well then you're going to have to kind of start broadening out to a little bit wider audience and think about what you might do you know, maybe you're talking about fixing cars maybe you should branch it out into also what kind of cars to buy how to buy cars make it as wide as possible so you have the biggest audience because you make money by millions of views not hundreds or thousands of views hey great advice great advice <laughs> it's really been nice meeting you and coming out here and having you film the old Kenworth um, we're going to be doing some stuff in the future Scotty's going to be over at the shop we're going to be doing some things on the dyno he's going to check out the Civic the S2000 the Mustang the Camaro the Lexus everything else that we got over there at the shop we're going to do some stuff in the future it's going to be awesome so make sure you stay subscribed Brother. I'm going to get I'm going to get to work I got a bunch of stuff to do today so I'm going to get to work but uh I can't wait to see the video I'll be hey, waiting no that's that's interesting you know all right, well, I got to run. Okay, yeah, great meeting yep. you guys. So long, gay boys. <laughs>